Hi, today I'm eating the Hispanic market in the United States. Mmm, tasty. This is a cereal called mini cinnamon churros. Now, churros, for those who know, is, is a favorite Mexican dessert. Um, what's interesting to me, if I can munch from it, is I found these walking through my local neighborhood supermarket, which is just a general run-of-the-mill, middle-of-the-road Gristides in New York. I mean, granted, I, I live in a neighborhood which is sort of the borderline between a Hispanic community of, uh, in the East, uh, a lot of Mexicans, uh, and a sort of white uh, neighborhood of, of lawyers and investment bankers on the other side. Uh, so Gristides is kind of a meeting ground between those two. But what's interesting to me is that if you notice, I don't know whether you can see this, this isn't made by some uh, specialty company, not a Goya, not a Hispanic marketing company. This comes from Post. Uh, and on the same shelf as I found this, I found a General Mills stereo uh, that was Dolce de Leche Cheerios. Uh, what you're seeing here is that the Hispanic market in the United States has gotten so large and is going to get even larger that companies that really have been, you know, mainstream market companies are now seeing this. So the figures are that right now Hispanics make up about 17% of the U.S. population. By 2060, they're going to be about 31%. Um, and by, oh, next 10 years or so, this is going to represent a $1.2 trillion market. That means it's a market bigger than the economies of everything except uh, 13 countries in the whole world. Uh, so you can see why this is attractive to a Post or a General Mills uh, or to anybody who's a, a, just a consumer marketing company. This is a big enough market so that you go for it. Now, if you're a investor and you'd like to play this trend, it gets a little difficult because, yeah, you can, you can go ahead and buy uh, a Procter & Gamble or a General Mills or uh, somebody like that who's then decided to, to or Nestle, that's decided to, to do products for this market. But really what you're doing is you're buying uh, a very large global company where this trend isn't going to have a whole lot of impact. I think the, the best play that I've been able to find so far uh, is actually a Mexican broadcaster uh, called Grupo Televisa, which trades as uh, under the symbol TV in New York. It's an ADR. Uh, and they're the biggest broadcaster of Spanish language and Spanish culture uh, programs in the United States because the Hispanic market is uh, interested in things that are about their culture as well as in their language and maybe more the, lang the culture than the language. Uh, anyway, so they, they own a Hong Kong Univision. Uh, they do Telemundo. Um, they've got the whole uh, sort of uh, programming that, that fits this audience. So they're probably the best pure play that I've been able to find so far, but I'm still looking to see whether I can find any more. Uh, anyway, bon appetit, or however you say it in Spanish. This is Jim Juback for Juback Asset Management.